the Fanatical Fisherman. I'm Tom Zimmerman, your host. We've got a great show coming up for you this week. We're going up to Fort Renfrew, BC with Larry Quigley on Quigley Sport Fishing. If you're a hardcore fisherman, I'm telling you, you don't want to miss this show. So here we go. Okay, let's go out on the water now with Larry Quigley as he explains a little bit about the BC sport fishing experience up here at Fort Renfrew. Hi, I'm Larry Quigley of Quigley Sport Fishing in uh, Port Renfrew, British Columbia. We're fishing here off the west coast of Vancouver Island, fishing for uh, Chinook salmon. Chinook salmon are the biggest salmon uh, in the species of salmon. There are five species. Chinook uh, caught in these waters can, average, can get up to 60 to 70 pounds. Average size caught 20 to 30. Lots of small ones as well. And for the hardcore fishermen, these waters are uh, produce some of the best action in the world. There's uh, millions of salmon that run down through the Straits of Juan de Fuca, coming out of where we are now, the Pacific Ocean, on the coastline of Vancouver Island. We're in a pretty undiscovered place here, because there's not a lot of pressure on this fishing system here. Having a run of 100 yards to 200 yards as the fish hits in a matter of about 10 or 15 seconds is not uncommon. These fish are huge, and they fight like crazy. Take you 15, 20 minutes to, to land a big fish. Your adrenaline can go from zero, trolling around like we are now, to a, a maximum of 100% adrenaline, and the excitement explodes as fish hit. Double headers, sometimes even triple headers, are just unbelievable. Hold on. Oh, we got a bite. We got a good bite. There we go, Doc. You ready? There we go. We got one. Oh yeah. We got one. Woohoo! Oh, look at this puppy go. Oh man, I'm telling you. I am telling you. That's a good one. Yeah, he's a screamer. I mean, all he starts to school you, Bob. Well, we got time here. All right, keep on me. We got. We got a good one on this time. Go left or right? Woohoo! Keep going straight, Bob. Yeah. Actually, just shove her in neutral. So we can stay straight. Yeah, just that's good, Bob. <laughs> Oh man, he's got me some line out on this one. All right, Tom. All right. You got a nice fish on. Tell me what's going on here, Bob. Uh, Bob, yeah. <laughs> I got so used to talking to Bob, you know. <laughs> Bob, Bob's my brother-in-law. Yeah, he's right. He's, what do we got going here, Larry? Nice we got Looks a nice like big, we got a real good one going. Yeah, we got a real nice big king salmon on right now. Yeah. And he just stripped out about 100 yards of line in Easily. a matter of seconds. Didn't take long, he's oh, just gone. He's oh, coming in now. He's coming towards you now, yeah? yeah. He's gonna see the boat and he's gonna take another run. Yep. Yeah. This is unbelievable. He snapped that pretty hard. Oh man, he jammed it. I was right yeah. on him. He popped that right off the down. Yep. This is what you want, guy. Look it up. Yeah. There it is. I'm gonna come around the other All side right. of you, Tom, so I can. Oh, look at the size of that sucker. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Get on that fish there. Don't go where he wants to go. Oh, you're almost at the top now. Beautiful. We're getting there. We're getting there. He's not quite ready. He's he not quite ready. Important to, to net your, your fish head first. Right. You don't want to tip because he'll jump right out and a lot of times he'll lose them. Uh, I know that from experience when I was young. So yeah, here we go. To, uh, to do it. Okay, he's coming in here and he's in the bag. Woo -hoo -hoo! All right, way to go. <laughs> this is a good way to start the morning off. Yes, sir. Nice trick. Look at that, baby. That is Play beautiful. Hey, eh, Tom? Yeah. Excellent. There you go, there. All right. All right. Number one. 
This ride is a lucky ride, I'm telling you. Wow, fantastic fish there, but it wasn't quite a tie. -y. Okay, let's check with Larry here and see what he's doing. Tell us about how you're baiting up. Hey, well, what we have is an anchovy. <clears throat> And I brine them in, in the, the night before so they're firm. Right. <clears throat> They'll last longer as you're trolling. And I have a, an anchovy holder with about a six foot leader. <clears throat> I add a little wire to it. It helps me helps the bait stay its shape that I want and I slide it down its backbone. Right, that's something I haven't seen to anybody do, put the little wire in there too. It was a trick I was shown by a few people when I first started fishing up oh, okay. here back in the eighties. Right. And stuff. So what I do is make, It holds the anchovy in place by a couple of toothpicks through its head. And then I take the hook and place it just behind its little dorsal fin there and into the backbone so it's solid. I have a little stinger hook or a trailer hook floating free behind it. Right. I tighten the line up and I give it a little bit of a bend that I think is going to create Make a swirl. some real good action on the bait for the fish. Very good. And then we hook that to our flasher using a red silver hotspot flasher. Is there any particular for this color that you're using on the hotspot flasher? No, it changes. Uh, you use what's working. I right. mean, I keep, I keep trying different tackle, different combinations until, right. until you find something that's producing fish. Right, so this and seems to be working for us right now. So we, we in this particular day, in this particular fishery, And it could this change by the hour. Exactly. Right? So let's, let's get this one out. Okay. Bubba. Your head shake? Yeah. Good. <sighs> Come on up, you sucker. <laughs> Come to Papa. Oh, oh, he's pulling. <sighs> Tough fish. They are tough. Strong. They're all muscle. They're all... all muscle. One big long muscle. Yeah. <sighs> Tell us a little bit uh, about this uh, area, Larry. Uh, we're, we're sitting right here on the top of the Straits of Juan de Fuca, the entrance into Puget Sound area. As we work <laughs> this little guy in. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we get lots of fish feeding out here on Swiftshire Bank. And there's other banks up and down the coast as well. But this is a really productive area feeding ground during the summer months of May through the end of uh, September. Right off Vancouver Island, Carmana Valley uh, to the east of us. So, yeah, and uh, Washington State to the Washington State over yeah, there to the southeast of us. Yeah, and uh, Hawaii to the west of us. <laughs> And a halibut, and a halibut right under us. us. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> is he getting close, Tom? I, hey, we're working him here, Bubba. Yeah, it's a longer way up than it is down, you know. Is that what they said? That's it. Yeah. Oh, we got him. We got daylight. Okay, we got a fish on. Here he comes. Yeah, here's some color. Oh, nice halibut. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The whole thing, eh? Oh, me, he jammed it. it. I really went, yep. let him go, didn't I? Yep. Need a little bit there. He's got him. Woo! The heat can run around a little bit. Yes, and now you see how it how much. Hope you enjoyed the show. We had a great time bringing it to you. If you'd like any more information on anything you've seen on today's program, please go to our website, fanaticalfisherman.com. Otherwise, I'll see you. Some of the ones at 115, uh, up the point over here in the bay, there was a 243 pounder caught. Right. So they, the big females can get huge. They want to thank all the little people too Say fish on, fish on Oh, hit him again, he's still kind of squirmy Somebody call my damn taxidermy Fish on, fish on